Hi guys, I'm Ella and in this video I will show you how to make leaf shape uh, trinket dishes out of air dry clay. For this project I use a dust air dry clay and believe me it was much nicer than a female air dry clay and I enjoyed working with this one very much. First I knead the clay and then I flatten the clay using my rolling pin. I pop the bubbles uh, with my exacto knife and uh, flatten the clay again. I expand the clay uh, to the size of my leaf. Then I pick up the leaf and place it on the clay from the back. It is very important that uh, you put the leaf from the back side because the leaf pattern is more pronounced on the back of the leaf and it will give you better results. Then I start pushing my leaf into the clay using my rolling pin. If there are any creases on your leaf, leave it alone. It won't affect the final result that much because it will just disappear in the pattern. And then use your exacto knife to cut around the leaf. Now take the clay off carefully using a blade. My stem dropped uh, but don't worry, we can easily attach it to the leaf again later. As you can see, the creases are in a quite natural shape, so I'm fine with them on my clay. Now I will take my bowl and place the leaf inside. I 
I adjust the edges and smoothen with a bit of water. Then I set it aside until it dries. For my second leaf, again I take a piece of clay, knead it and flatten it with my rolling pin to the size of my leaf. Then I place the leaf right from the back on the clay and push the leaf in the clay with my rolling pin. Then I cut around the leaf with my exacto knife. I take the clay off with my blade and put it in another bowl and set it aside until it dries. After approximately 24 hours, my leaves are dry uh, from inside, so I take them off the ball and put them upside down, as you can see here, and give them another 24 hours to completely dry. Now my leaves are dried and it is time for sanding. I use the sanding paper to sand the sharp edges and smoothen the bags. I don't sand inside of the dishes. So for the maple dish, I want to achieve the autumn color combination. So first I thought to use alcohol ink with water uh, to achieve the abstract effect. Uh, uh, but it was my first time using alcohol ink. I didn't have experience. I failed miserably. Um, as the color did not transfer and just ran through my leaf so that's why I ended up with somewhat wet leaf. So I ended up pouring the alcohol ink directly into my work and it worked. I used green, red, and yellow. I also add some gold, especially on the uh, veins, to add some gold accent to the leaf.
Then I use liquid gold to cover the edges. Then I mix green acrylic paint and um, a dash of black paint uh, to get a deep green color and uh, I cover the back of the dish with that paint. I use the same color to cover the other leaf entirely. After my green paint dried, I also cover the edges of this leaf with a liquid gold to just give it an accent. After the paint completely dried, I cover the pieces with semi-shiny acrylic varnish to fix the color and give it a satin look. I used a Fimo varnish for that. So here is the final result. I hope you like it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials. Thank you for watching and have a fabulous day.